Right, so I did a poll on my channel recently and the majority said yes. So here's a video, mostly about my puppy. And since you guys actually don't know what his name is, his name is Ziggy. Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. All right, he's too busy looking at his balls. Um, so first off, um, before some people may ask some questions about him, he is about a year and a half old in human years. He he is a puppy. He is a big dog. I'm not even going to lie. He's a big dog. And you'll see I have some vacuums that I'm going to talk about later. However, this video is mostly about Ziggy. So, I'm going to go over some things Ziggy likes and doesn't like. And then we're going to go on the story on how we got him. You okay, baby? You thirsty? Okay. Um, a couple things Ziggy likes is his toys. Um, he also loves his treats. He has some squeaky toys. He has some chew toys. Um, one thing Ziggy does a lot is he gets the zoomies. Um, another thing Ziggy likes is um, laying on the couch. However, he's not allowed to, at least not at my mom's, because my parents are now divorced. Um, but at my dad's, we do let him on the couch. Ziggy, he is a very short-haired dog. So you can see. Come here, baby. He doesn't shed much, so his hair doesn't really get stuck in the vacuum cleaners. Ziggy also really likes cheese. Um, Ziggy also loves to... We do have a cage for him, however, we barely use it. Because at night, he does not sleep in his cage. He actually sleeps on my bed with me. Now, to a few things Ziggy doesn't like. Ziggy... I would say his biggest fear is the rain. If it starts raining, he's out of here. He's going right into really whatever room is the clo whatever room he feels like he can hide in. He likes to hide in the back of my closet. He likes to hide under the coffee table at my mom's. He likes to hide under the bench in front of my mom's bed. And then he likes to hide in our under our darning room table at my um, moms, and then at my dad's, there's only one real hiding spot, and that's under my bed. He'll run under my bed. Now, the story on Ziggy. How did we get this, baby? Okay, let's say hi, baby. Um, it's honestly kind of sad, and some to some people. So, I was starting to go through some depression and stuff. And I always did want a dog, but I told my parents on what was kind of going on. Getting a dog was originally going to kind of be a reward for me. But eventually, we just got to the thing where I felt like I needed, like, someone or... I don't... Also, I'm going to say here, I don't like saying pet or dog. Because I just don't like to call Ziggy that. I like to call him boy. Because... Or just by his name, because Ziggy's not a pet to me. Ziggy's my best friend. But anyway, um, when we originally went to... What we were originally going to do is we weren't originally going to get Ziggy. We were originally going to get this chocolate lab named Athena. And, well, well, she didn't look like a chocolate lab at all. Um, but we went there. She is barking her lungs out. I'm not even kidding. She was lunging at me, not at my parents, right at me. Uh, you coming onto my bed now? It's all right. Um, and then he went to uh, or sorry. Um, and then he went to um, and then she was also foaming around her mouth and stuff. And my dog got my dad got pretty upset and said, "Get this dog out of here." And get a dog this kid will like. And they said, oh, Ziggy's probably our best dog here. We'll go get him for you. And this is another thing Ziggy likes to do. He's a very playful dog, which is one thing I really wanted in my dog. <laughs> um, 
he does get the zoomies a lot. But anyway, back onto the story. Um, and I walked around with him for like one or two minutes. And I just felt like Ziggy was my dog. I felt like he was the one we needed to take home. And f 10 to 15 or so minutes later, we're bringing Ziggy home in my car. And I and he's been my best friend since. And in case anyone's wondering when, how long we've had him, um, we got him back. <laughs> um, we got him back in February. I'm pretty sure it was the 26th or 27th of this year. So we haven't even had him a year yet. So I'm excited. Um, because this is going to be his first real Christmas and stuff, because obviously he hasn't had a real Christmas because he's been at that shelter the whole time. Um, they did say he was originally found on the side of the road. I also never told this, but Ziggy is, they say he's a hound, but we feel like he's a Doberman mix. But anyway, um, and he's been my best friend since day one. Now on to the vacuum stuff, because I mean, not everyone is here just for my dog. Now, the first thing is, and because if you want to know where any of these vacuums came from, because most of these vacuums, you have no idea where they came from. Um, this iRobot Roomba J7 Plus, out of all these vacuums, this one has taken the most abuse. This thing has been keeping our floors free of dog hair since day one of having Ziggy. And this was actually the first robot vacuum Ziggy actually saw. And his reaction was actually kind of funny. He was trying to pounce on it. But this thing has taken abuse. If I flip this thing over, you can see the rollers are pretty disgusting and beat up. It has guns caught on stuff that it wasn't supposed to. But anyway... Now, Missile 3675. I did talk about this one in my community part of my channel a while back. Uh, I was going to do an unboxing video on it, and I did try. However, I was sick at the time, and I was coughing more than I was talking in the video. So I decided, no, I'm not going to post that. But my buddy, if you go to my community part of my page, I mentioned one of my friends, and he does have an unboxing video on this. Now, my buddy, the buddy I was talking about, I know him. I've been talking to him for a little over a year now. But um, he always had one of these and was always trying to convince me to get one. And I was like, eh, maybe I'll get one eventually at some point. I don't know. But after I got Ziggy, all the, co the convincing he did to me started getting to me. And, and this thing has done an amazing job at getting the dog hair. I've gotten this one... Early March. And this, this little turbo brush, puts in the work. They definitely changed it. They made the gaps bigger, I think. And this thing does not bog down. And since Ziggy does, like, have a bed, he loves to lay on. Um, and he even has one in his cage over there, which he barely uses. But, and then if he gets on the couch without us knowing, this Bissell turbo brush gets the hair right out. Because this thing doesn't bog down and the suction on this thing is pretty good for cheap vacuum. This thing was like a hundred bucks. I highly recommend it. And I and this thing you actually can use on hard floors. And I found it does a decent job at doing hard floors because I don't see this much. But this cheap vacuum does have a squeegee. And it does work pretty well. Roborock S7. I've had this thing for a while now. I did do an unboxing video on it. Um, one thing I actually didn't tell you is, uh, not even a week after owning this, um, I brought it to my dad, my mom's house, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start this thing, I'm gonna give it its first test, I'm gonna have it do my full floor plan. So I literally look around my house, nothing's, everything's picked up, I click start on the robot, goes out and cleans, and after I finish my lunch... There is this, it smells like poop in my gaming room. I'm not even kidding. And my gaming room is like right there. Um, and I walk in my bedroom. Ziggy had pooped in my room. Right over there. And the Roborock has 7 had gone right over it. 
it only did my room it didn't get anywhere else um it was a pain to clean i was nervous it was not going to survive that but it did it really did um and i was really happy that this thing did and this is has and ever since then it's been working just fine and this thing does a phenomenal job at picking up dog hair however this thing does not have the rubber brush installed. I do still have the rubber brush that came with this thing. I took the brush roll from my Roborock Q5 and put it in this S7. And it works a lot better with that brush roll. Now, Shark AI. This is one you guys haven't seen. This one, I made a deal with my dad. But... This thing has also been doing an amazing job at picking up Ziggy's hair. It's been mopping up his paw prints. I don't like the mop on this thing so much because it only vibrates in like one little section of the mopping pad. And I really don't like that. And it doesn't really do a good job in my opinion. But this thing, the whole mop moves. This thing is a big improvement from the regular Shark AI vac mop. Because the whole pad moves and then this thing does a good job at picking up his hair and keeping it out of the brush roller. And as I said, if there's any vacuums you see here, and you want to and you want to know where they came from, uh, I'll let you know. Except for the Robo Rock, and I already did tell you about the vessel. Hoover Power Drive. This thing I got. Actually, I'm basically telling you guys where I got these things at this point. Um, this one I got from a buddy that that lives in the same area as me. And this thing is probably the best upright vacuum I've ever owned in my life at picking up dog hair like Ziggy's hair. Ziggy. Anyway, um, but this thing, it really gets onto the carpet and it gets the hair right out. And if I would have known about how good this thing is at picking up dog hair sooner, I will be honest, I would have bought this thing way sooner when my brother used to live with me and he had two dogs that shed a lot. Now, I do have a couple stickbacks. I have a Hoover One Power Plate, which I do not have with me. That thing does, is probably an, is an amazing stickback. I just don't have it with me because it's currently in pieces being cleaned out. And then I have a Dyson V10. It did me good for a little bit. However, it's starting to stink really bad. Um, so I may get a new filter for it because I'm going to guess that's the issue. I'm going to, um, pro I probably will get a new filter for it at some point. And I do want to try and get a new stick pack for Christmas. Probably some kind of Hoover or Shark. Because I do not have the Shark cordless pet anymore. Um, if there's any vacuums I have that I did an unboxing video a long time ago. And you don't know if I still have it or not. Um, feel free to ask me. Because I have not told you guys. But I have a lot of vacuums I do not have anymore that you've seen on my channel. But here's another one. I moved it over here because I didn't know if I was going to talk about it. I also have this Yuffie LR20. I actually got this guy when I was with uh, the guy that told me to get that vessel, aka, I can't remember if his channel is Vacuum Guide or Ethan the Vacuum Guide, but when I was with him, uh, I had a Yuffie 11S for a while that I found at Goodwill for $50, which that thing eventually died on me, and I was going to get a dirt, that Dirt Devil that Vacuum Guide has now, however, um... I saw this and I was like, well, since my 11S died, I think I'm going to get this for my mom's house because I had a Yuffie for both of my parents' houses except the 11S died. But the 25C died on me now, so I'm looking into the new X8 Pro. If anyone has the X8 Pro, please let me know how you like it. And I've been hearing it's really good for pet owners, which is one reason I want to get it. But anyway, um, I got this thing. I did an unboxing video with it on it. If you go to the community part of my YouTube channel, it's my second newest post. You will see I tagged the unboxing video of me with him in there. And if you want to know anything about this robot, I would definitely check out this video. But this thing, just like pretty much all the others, does an amazing job at picking up Ziggy's hair. Honestly, out of all three of these robots, this thing probably cleans just as good, maybe even better than the Roborock. The Roomba J7, it is not the best at actually getting deep down dust. I mean, none of these are meant to replace your regular vacuum. But that one really only gets surface stuff, and that's about it. It doesn't get as deep, doesn't, like, 
get some of the deep down dust and dirt like these like these three do. But out of my favorites out of the two brands, I'm going to say the Hoover is my favorite out of the uprights. In terms of stick facts, I also still have the Samsung Jet 60 Fit. It has a Jet 70 pet on it head on it now since that it came with dip brake, but but I would say this. If you're on a budget, the Bissell's a good vacuum. However, overall, my favorite upright in terms of picking up dog hair is definitely the Power Drive Pet Hoover. But in terms of robots, this one is tricky. If you want something that really vacuums and mops really good, I would say get this. However, even though this one's better, I think because with Yuffie, I'm not 100% sure on this, I think you can get the self-empty bin and a mop attachment for this guy. And I would say with that, I feel like it's better value than this guy because it's cheaper and it does just as good. So it really depends on your budget, but that does not mean the Shark or the Roomba is not good. iRobot even has a new uh, Combo J9 and I would love to try one of those and I probably will at some point. But I do recommend all of these, but I would say these two are probably my favorite. Now, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And Ziggy, can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye? Ziggy, can you say bye to the viewers that watch your video? Well, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. If you have any comments or questions about this video, either the vacuums or Ziggy, if there's anything about Ziggy you would like to know, feel free to comment and let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one, and I will see you guys later.